It is figures such as Father George that command our attention. Because in the real world, issues are never truly as black or white, right or wrong, as is depicted in the public discourse. Rather, our personal beliefs often lie in a continuum of beliefs that exists somewhere between the poles. I have heard very few as eloquent as he when it comes to articulating a personal reconciliation of scientific knowledge with religious faith. The Father Coyne was born in 1973 in Boston. <laughs> 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 like right? I really enjoyed Father Coyne's presentation. Um, he's a really good sense of humor. He was very down to earth. He made things very easy to understand. And I thought that his explanation of God's role in the universe as a loving parent was very interesting. What I'd like to share with you is one example, one example of the interaction of science, the culture of science, with <coughs> religious faith. Fertile universe, chance, and destiny. What is happening is that the universe is made in such a way that chance and necessary processes are building up ever more complex molecules until we get to the human brain, and it's going on still. Did God do it? Did God do it? I don't know. I don't know. From this, I can neither assert nor deny that God did it. I simply can't. All I can reflect upon it if if I am a religious believer, then I say, God created this universe according to what I believe. The connection between science and religion has always been a topic of much debate, and I think it's really important that Colgate brings speakers like Father Coyne to talk about this. I really appreciated that he offered his own view, but also admitted that there is no answer to this age-old question, and I think that his talk stimulated much discussion among faculty and students. What and where heaven and hell are, I have no idea. I know which way I want to go, <laughs> but I have no idea. If we don't know everything about the universe, give us a few more seconds.